What's up everyone, how are you all doing? I'm certainly doing pretty damn good today because yesterday we finally finished the project that I've been working on for quite some time. We now have a successful connection from the Oculus Quest wirelessly to the PC with the HTC Vive Tracker. Now, I'm gonna go on a really quick explanation here and explain to you guys exactly what's happening and why certain things won't work, because I know some people like to hear that. If you guys don't want to listen to that, skip to right here or timestamps down in the description below. Now, I will actually be posting a second video today, so I will also be posting a news video for you guys, because I feel like this has gone on for long enough. <laughs> And I know that this is the third video I'm making on the subject, but I am also extremely happy to say it is the final video. It's a project, and therefore I have a mission to bring it to perfection for you guys. And I'm happy to say we've done it. It is now at perfection. There's nothing else you can possibly change here. So today I'm going to be guiding you through that process. It's going to be a very short, very sweet little tutorial to show you guys exactly how you can use nothing but your Oculus Quest and have the Vive Tracker connected just to your quest and have it send data over to your PC. Yes, that's right. No phone, no mini router, no Raspberry Pi, no more cables, nothing but the quest and the tracker. So you guys remember I said I uh, bought virtual here for the, the thing yesterday and it was like 50 euro. Well, I bought it again. This time I bought it for the Oculus Quest. Now, mind you, you don't need to buy it for the Oculus Quest, but I bought it because I wanted to get rid of the annoying dialogue. So yeah, just saying, if you guys do want to buy virtual here, it's actually on sale right now, 50% sale for Android, just saying. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form, but I'm just saying. And for today's project, we will be using virtual here, the same software we were using yesterday, but as some people pointed out in the comment section, you can actually install it on the Quest, except if you install it directly onto the Oculus Quest, it won't work straight out of the box, but it won't work straight out of the box by side loading it. And why is that? That's because Android doesn't give camera permissions to apps by default, and neither does it give OTG camera permissions. And OTG means on the go. On the go meaning you're plugging the camera into the Quest on the go. It doesn't have permissions to access that camera. Thankfully, I know a way to force it to have permissions. And this isn't like hidden or anything, but it's not common knowledge. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can force permissions and send that over the network. Without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So for this tutorial, you're going to require a PC. And I mean, you're going to require a PC anyway, because you require a VR ready PC to use the facial tracker. This is still unfortunately not standalone. So first let's grab all the software we need. Hopping on to virtualhere.com, you want to go into the client and download the client for Windows. That'll be this one. Then once that's downloaded, you can just launch it. Next thing you will want to do is you want to get yourself a virtual here APK. Now, there are a few websites that you can actually download this from that should be perfectly safe. But what I actually did to be 100% safe is I created an APK using my very own phone, which you can do that. But I do realize some people don't have Android. Basically, you need to get this APK. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab the Oculus Quest settings APK. Yes, that's a thing. And what you want to do for that is you just want to search for Oculus Quest 2 settings APK in Google, and it's gonna be this one right here. You want to click download and it will download. Now, as usual for sideloading anything to the Quest, you want to make sure you have developer options enabled and that you can connect your Quest to SideQuest because we're gonna be using SideQuest for this. So power your Quest on and and connect it to your PC. If this is the very first time you're connecting your Quest to your PC after enabling developer mode, you might get a dialogue inside your Quest telling you that you need to authorize the computer. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not gonna get this dialogue, but basically SideQuest will tell you in the top left corner that it is unauthorized. So now that you have your Quest connected to SideQuest, it's actually gonna be quite simple. Click in the top right corner here, install APK from folder on computer, downloads, install the virtual here USB server, and then also install the settings APK. Now you can see both of those tasks were completed successfully. So that's that. We can now unplug the Quest from the computer. Now, what you want to do now is get your mount, slide your facial tracker into your Quest. If you don't have this mount, I do recommend you check it out down in the description below and you want to plug the facial tracker into the Quest. Now, what you want to do is you kind of want to make sure that the cable isn't in the way of the cameras. I've found that covering up this camera doesn't actually seem to do much, but you know, just, just, just in case. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go to the top right here and click on unknown sources. Now you will find that you have the settings for the Quest 2 right here. Now, you do need to launch this. So once you are inside the settings app, 
what you want to do is you want to scroll down and find the apps and notifications section. Going into that section, you want to click see all apps. Then inside this section, you need to scroll down and find the new virtual here installed application. This is necessary because we need to give it permissions to access the camera. Here it is, virtual here USB server. Clicking onto it, you want to go into permissions and I already have given it permission to access the camera, but you want to give it permission to access the camera. You also might want to give it permission for microphone, just in case you ever want to plug in an external microphone into your Quest. And once you have that done, you are actually done this part. You've given it all the necessary permissions. And again, all it actually requires is the camera permission. Now what you want to do is you want to navigate your way back into apps, unknown sources, and then click on virtual here USB server. Now you will see that the server has actually started and it does stay on in the background. So once you have your server started, you want to double click onto the virtual client. And as you can see, it says Android Hub HTC Multimedia Camera. And you want to right click and click start using device. It'll say start using device here. I have auto use device on so that every time I plug it in, it just automatically connects. Putting the headset back on, going back into all apps and launching virtual desktop, you will notice that the camera does not disappear off the list, meaning this is still actually going on in the background. You can see the camera is actually still there, meaning that this is a huge, huge, massive success. Okay, let's hop into Neos and have some wireless fun. And as you can see right now, the tracking is working completely wirelessly. <laughs> and again, this thing laughing with me is just absolutely creepy, but oh my God. So as you can see, it's working right here completely wirelessly. I'm speaking, the avatar is speaking, I'm smiling, and the avatar is smiling. Uh, it's it's so unbelievable. And look at this. I'm, we're gonna bring this with us. And if we face this way as well, the camera will follow us and you can see I am still speaking. That is just so cool. Moving my jawline. Oh, la, la. Look at that. How cool is this? This is true wireless. Not the not the, the broken things we were doing yesterday. This is true wireless. Look at that. That is just unbelievable. That is incredible. And I, I love it. I absolutely love this. Now I can actually use this because I wasn't really going to 100% use it with a wire because I play wireless and wires are a huge drawback to me so yeah but now i can actually use it well i mean what else can i say guys big big success let's get back to the chair and i did actually end up tweeting this on twitter for all you guys to see and it got some mad love from absolutely incredible creators and thank you so much guys this honestly means so much to me i'm so happy that i'm able to contribute to the vr community and help you guys out in some way i'm happy i am able to give more people the option for this kind of technology if they want it and having it wireless is a huge thing for a lot of people on quest including myself because a lot of people use virtual desktop a lot of people love that option of being wireless over the option of being wired and don't mind a little bit of latency. And honestly, this is fantastic. And just like I said earlier, this method can actually now be used. If you plug a USB hub into your Quest, you can actually plug a lot more things into your Quest and transmit to your PC. For example, you could plug in a full-blown USB microphone into it and have that be transmitted to the PC as well. But all you need is a USB hub. Now, there was a question earlier on, and there was a question on the Discord when I was talking about this, as to whether you can still use, for example, the functionality of your VR power or your Elite head strap. Yes, you can. And that is actually what I was doing yesterday insanely overkill setup. We have a Type-C hub with two USB OTG ports, so the tracker is connected to one of these ports. And then down here, we've got Type-C pass-through for the Elite head strap. So as you can see, I'm charging the Elite head strap right now, but the headset is also charging, even though we also have the tracker connected. It is actually unbelievable how much we can do with Android on a device like this. So 
If you have one of these, this is a Type-C hub with Type-C pass-through. You can actually get a Type-C to Type-A converter like this, plug that into the top right here, plug your VR power or your Elite head strap into the bottom here where there is Type-C pass-through, and plug this end into your Quest. Now boom, you have two Type-A ports to pass through over to your computer completely wirelessly, and you still get to keep the functionality of your Elite head strap or your VR power. This is the perfect solution. I'm so, so happy that after everything that happened yesterday, we're finally able to reach a conclusion, and it's a great, great conclusion, and a great, great way to do this. And yesterday, I actually made the joke that, hey, if you guys can watch the full video from yesterday, watch all my failures, that would be great, because I need that watch time after what happened yesterday. I was just joking around, and then people in the comment section actually said, that they enjoyed it and they enjoyed seeing the process and that that's that's part of it and that the process is part of it and that made me realize it really is after all without that process i may have never gotten to this part and i just want to say thank you because that th that means a lot it helps me realize that the process really is is part of it also guys my mom is dead set on making a cake for 50k so the faster we get to 50k you guys get to see the cake and i get to have the cake but on a serious note we are so unbelievably close to 50k and i am just so unbelievably proud of this community i that we have built it's i don't even know what to say i'm, I'm going to make a proper video at 50k saying exactly how unbelievable this is and thanking you guys, but honestly, I don't know if there's anything I can say that will express how happy I am right now. So thank you so much for being here, and I'm, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed the content. So guys, once again, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. I hope it gave you more opportunities and helped you make a wireless facial tracker for yourself so that you can play using virtual desktop. Now, somebody was asking, can you use the link? Technically, you can't if you're passing through USB unless you get a Y splitter. But then if you're using the link, you could technically just tie one cable to another and, and do it that way. So yeah, this is more like full wireless mode, you know? And then of course the index has the little frunk at the front where you can just plug it into there. So that's not necessary at all, but this, is amazing for people that want to go full wireless. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to join the Discord down below, make sure to check out our Reddit, post some spicy memes. Also, join us on Twitter. It seems I'm posting a lot more things on Twitter nowadays. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and keep me alive, and sick merch that doesn't put a huge ad on your body. Still haven't gotten my t-shirts. <laughs> so if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.